whatever reason, didn't like it. And the thumbnail's gonna be weird, but we're live. Yo, comic community, what is going on? Ryan's here. Ryan's here. We're, okay, so we're not streaming from our normal place. No, we are not. This is an abnormal place. This is different. This is, um, if we were to call it the same, that would be incorrect. Yes. How I incorrect would that be? I think what you were saying. Horribly incorrect. We are not in the same place, but thank you so much for joining us here. We are uh, streaming a little bit late today, but for good reason. One, um, we are not in our typical space. No, 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 no. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Actually, we're mobile. How do I? Okay, how bear do we with get rid us. of the chat on here? I know that's what I'm working on. We're Let's working see off here. a phone instead of a computer. Oh my right goodness! Now. How do I? How do I get the oh, no hide chat? all chat messages. We oh my goodness! Okay, so here we go. So now Ryan can see himself. I'm here. All right, the guys, this is crazy. Ryan. We have All right. Holy chairs. We have room. Okay. So what are we where, doing? Where are we? What are where we are we? We are in Russ's new shop, and this is the first time I've seen it. Have you been here? I yet? was here yesterday. I was helping get. Okay. So you you saw it. I so was here already. So I have to say, this has been a crazy day for me because we have been working so hard for this last year to get to the point where we could conveniently do the mail call and like as a team have space to do it. Russ and I chatted a year ago about how like eventually he'll have his, a new spot and we'll be able to do things like assembly and get better comics and, and make things work. And today is kind of like that day that kind of just creeped up on us. It's today. It's today. It's happening. Like we have the mail call downstairs and it's all like almost done and we have help and it's amazing. Like we have room and I'm, I'm just... I'm so stoked about everything. So um, what we're going to do today, this is gonna be a very special live show. Um, we have um, uh, the, the, the typical schedule for you. Um, after today's show, we have Lords of the Long Box. The lens is up here, by the way, I'm just realizing that. Um, we have Lords of the Long Box who's going- on side. I know, right, yep. it's on that side. Typically <gasps> it's on the other side. Um, Lords of the Long Box is gonna be Aaron after us and he's got some fun stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, I wanna make sure to plug them. Yep. Um, Lords yep. of the Long Box, is going to be airing after us at 6 p.m. And they have some something really cool going on. They're interviewing John Jackson Miller, who not only runs Comic Con, ComicCron.com, uh -huh. he was um, the managing editor of Comic Buyers. He's the managing was the managing director of the Comic Buyers Guide, which is awesome, as well as Ooh. the person who wrote Knights of Golden Sun. So um, that's yes. been an independent comic book that's been popping. You sure? Oh, what am I saying? That's the Old Republic. Star <laughs> Wars, baby. Star Wars, totally different, totally different thing. But it's you know what? I misread it. Um, I just found out about this like a second ago, and Tebow just texted me. So um, make sure to uh, take a look at that. He's going to be analyzing the comic sales market and trends tonight, and talk about upcoming Star Wars comics. So if you're into Star Wars, or if you're into, it sounds like market analysis. You're gonna want to check out Tebow over at Lords of the Long Box after us. But right now, this is a special show. We're not gonna go for the full hour. Special. Because we have people down there waiting for us to start yes. getting this mail call assembled. We have to put a mail call together. Oh my gosh, we have a oh. bang and mail call. I held, I held, I held the Iron Man Fifty Five. It's yeah. downstairs right now. It's the, pretty cool. The first Thanos. It's pretty cool. I'm super excited to send that one out. Um, Ryan's like, is this the one? I'm he, gonna, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take this. Because we know we gotta do it. We're doing our like final counts. Make sure we have enough for the whole month. We have to get a lot of them done, and we're anticipating a ton more people. So we expanded how many we were gonna do, um, and when we're selling out. So GeekStreet101.com link in the bio to sign up and reserve your box. But I gave Ryan the box. And I said, can you confirm the count in this box? First one he pulls out because it's in a mylar. Is it stands out. You'll right? you'll know when you when you open your box that you that you got it. If how you're the one feel? to get it. How did it feel, Ryan? It feels hefty. It's hefty. It's in that mylar. It's in the thick mm -hmm. bag and board. Oh, it feels good. It doesn't even. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. Thank you so much to the sixty plus people who are currently joining us. We we didn't even plan this show out with a um, like schedule like we typically do to kind of build the anticipation. But what we're going to do, um, we're gonna first show you a little bit about a little bit of the shop. I think that yes. we need to we need to do that. We but first, to. I want to go. Go ahead, Ryan. We need to write. We need to. We're mobile. We're not strapped down to a desk or a computer like we are every week. We right. need to. We need to take it out, out of there. This is a whole. This is a whole shot. This place is like at least what three times bigger than the last at place. Least, um, yeah. yeah. So this is at least three times bigger. This is an office. Like Russ has an office. This is Russ's office. He's got like two more than two desks right here behind. Is um, he was joking, but this is likely going to be Russ's backdrop because he actually has a computer here. He's going to start streaming more and doing more stuff. Um, trying get to get a, a mural on this wall right here. Yeah, he's gonna do it. We're, well, he's gonna come up here and he's probably gonna start just talking about all the different things he's gonna want. So, you guys, bear with us. Just classic just, Russ. Classic Russ. He's gonna, he's gonna 
talk, tell you guys all the ideas, I'm sure. Um, all of them. But let's, uh, I'm gonna like, go through here and say a couple shout outs here because we got a ton of people in the chat. We have Fire Davis, Ryan bon Bondi, Tom, 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 Tom. <laughs> What's up? What's going on, Tom, Tom, I like, Tom, Tom, I like Tom, that Tom. one. That I do like that one. That one's funny. We got D's room. He's like, is that the bathroom? No, no, we're not in the bathroom. We it are. It sounds like it though. It kind of sounds like a bathroom, I bet. We um, have tandem toilets right here. We're both sitting on side by side. This is the bathroom. There's yeah. a big window. I always have to sit next to Ryan. Yeah. Go to the bathroom. I can't poop unless I'm with Tom. Exactly. It's what happens after doing a lot of content on YouTube um, for the Kava community. Cameron D. Robis Nine is here. Random Hawaii. First of Doom eighty four. Joseph Comics. Good. Nick, Nick Miller's here. JT Gamer. Here. Comic lover Omega. Tim May Mayer. Bueller. Bueller. What are you doing here? What is Bueller doing here? It's because he's a homie. You know Bueller's here because he's a homie. Lucky's Dwayne here. Williams, cover lover comics. Lucky. I saw you guys talking about getting Bueller a butt tattoo the other night. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, good. man. It was good. We're Speaking making some of... crazy content, man. Bueller. <laughs> crazy is a good word. Crazy for it. Good. Um, yeah, <laughs> Tim Mayer. I was like, MTV Crib style. Yeah, Tim Mayer. Um, we're going to be doing that MTV Crib style. This is, I'm sitting next to some new artwork. Nicholas Hill, who did our Thanos print for our mail call back mm -hmm. in December. He also does the. 3D paintings that are in the studio right now. Yep. The ones that are on my side of the camera, the Venom and the... He did the Black Panther? Black Panther's made a couple video appearances, but that has, that's, that's not that's currently been a while. Yeah. Now we have two Venoms up, I think, right now. Right. Um, yeah, Lethal Protector we as well as the ASM cover. I look at um, it every time we record. It's right behind you. That's right. And he's done more. I'm looking at some new ones we're going to show you because um, Nicholas Hill is actually doing a bunch of the stuff for the shop. Um, so shout out to him. Um, and we have so many people here. I want to make sure to let uh, Lucky Tattoo or here, who's in the chat, want to make sure he knows that I gave my dad his comic karma today and he was freaking out about the uh, Grendel you sent him. So thank you so much for that. Uh, made his day. He was like, ooh, I got comic karma? Me? I'm like, yeah, you got some Grendel, dad. People know you like that Kamiko stuff. You are beloved, sir, Mr. Pops. Ooh, we got a... Also a super chat that I'm not seeing who it was, so what? we're gonna have to. What? Oh, there it from is. D Stingley. What's the link? D Stingley, the link to GeekStreet101.com. It's in the bio, and they're not in the bio currently because we went live on my we phone. We went live very last minute. But if you look at any of our other videos, the links to literally everything is gonna be there. So, Ryan. Yo. Whew. Breathe. This is a little. I'm considering this a break because we're we're about to go hit it hard downstairs. Yeah, we got. Mail. Lots of mail calls to assemble. Lots and lots of mail calls. But you know what? Russ is hooking it up. We've got, we picked up a couple collections over this last couple weeks. We've got some mm -hmm. lot of good books. We have a ton of really choice keys going out. So we're going to be showing them off on camera. Um, and the way we're going to do that is probably post them on Instagram. So keep an eye out for Instagram posts today on my feed so you can get a peek at all the mail calls that we're assembling. You're going to see all the ones that you have an opportunity to get. We're going to be focusing on those choice books, though, because we know that's what real people really care about seeing. Sure. You know, the, the, the ones that are a little bit more spendy, the ones that are a little bit more collectible. Um, and, Ryan, what are your first, um, you know, you walked into what? here. The very first thing that I, I got to say about this shop as far as my experience walking in here is that mm -hmm. it smells like a comic book store. And I mean that in a good way. I mean like, it smells like new paint slash comics. And there's a mixture of that that just lingers in comic book stores. And it reminds me of my childhood. Hmm, not me. Not for you, but for me. No, I didn't go to comic stores in my childhood. I was too cool. Yeah, Ryan was too cool. He was too, <laughs> he was too busy, busy playing Yu-Gi-Oh with his friends in, in, in Recess. I wasn't that cool. Okay, you weren't that let's, cool? Let's back off from that. You know what's funny? I went to the store recently, and I saw my friend at the grocery store. He's, he was doing the stuff, you know, behind the counter. And he was my friend from elementary school. Um, we, he used to play magic with me um, in, on the basketball court at Recess. We would sit in the corner away from everybody and play magic at Recess. So I got to see him recently, and that was really cool. So that's gotta be cool. I want to show you guys what I'm sitting next to. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Look at this. Okay, so right there, you know what that is. So right, I gotta just say this right here, Ryan. How dope is this? I like it. This is a 3D painting. What do I mean by that? This is what you don't see on camera. This the is dimensions. the dimensions of it. Now. The process of making something like this, Ryan, is you have to do it backwards. He has to cut, cut these out in reverse after he makes the stencil. This isn't paint up here. This is all, this, there's no paint here. I'm not touching it. The paint is on the other side. So he had to paint it in reverse and then he layers them on here. That's way more complicated than I thought it was. Right, wow. so when you see these on camera or in the shop, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this is like not just a painting, 
It's a 3D painting. It's got depth. It's got depth. You can go behind his little his little venom hand. You could be like you could be like hey, venom. Wipe your wipe your mouth. Okay, so got that one there. That's what we do for an hour. Um, and then we have this gorgeous one that I'm I'm psyched about this one. That's Miguel. Look at this one. Spider Man. Twenty ninety nine. I gotta say, Nick, um, I I'm gonna request the second print. I would like the second print in our studio. Oh, we're doing requests. I would like to request. Okay. I, the thing is, like, these are gotta be expensive. Like, I kind of, I don't know how much he sells these. He should charge out. a lot. I didn't realize there were that much work went into them. He's Dude, doing it backwards and he, stuff. He's doing it backwards. Like, it's this is no um, easy feat to do, but you know what he does, and he kills hmm. it. This looks just like the dang cover. So, yeah. anyways, this is pretty cool. And where are we right now? We are in Russ's office now. Um, Russ has, um, we are going to be doing a tour here really soon of the whole store. So, so stay with us, stay with us. So with the 97 people currently joining us. 97? Oh my goodness. What are you are, doing? We are at Russ's <laughs> new shop, up top, Ryan. I'm so stoked about being here. I'm glad it's we're a here. great day. The move we're about to success. break 10K on YouTube. So thank you to the community. And if I could also ask to the near 100 people currently joining us, if you can hit that like button for us, it helps the video get viewed. All right. I'm gonna hit the like button on my phone. Oh, well, thank you, Ryan. You're I welcome. I do appreciate that. I'm curious. Practice what you preach. I'm curious to find out though, Russ's status. Where he said 10 minutes. Has it been 10 minutes? I think it's been about 10 minutes. What do you think? Yeah, I think he's ditching us. Did, did he this is our shop now. This is our shop? Yes. What are gonna do? All right, well this is, I gotta say something that is really cool about his shop in his office is that he has this warehouse area. I love right this window. There. He's got this nice window here and he can, it overlooks the, um, here come from, um, it overlooks his warehouse. So what's cool is that when we get things like boxes, collections and things of that nature, let's get Ryan in the first so he can actually see what he's talking, what he's doing here. Um, when we are, when he's like working, all down there is like, he can see it. So that's the warehouse. I'm hoping area. he just stands there and does like this. Work, work, work drones. Work, yes. mail call. <laughs> <laughs> just but overseer. Cool. I'm excited, I'm excited. It's just it. so dope. The, this place is, is gorgeous. Like there's hardwood for, we're gonna show you everybody here. We're at Russ's new shop. Special live show today. We're doing the mail call. We're doing the assembly. And we're gonna take you on a trip. We're, we're mobile today. We are mobile. So Ryan, you Let's prove it. Tell me, Ryan, what has been going on with you today? Nothing whatsoever. What what's been going on? We haven't. I haven't slept seen? all morning. You slept all morning. I got off work and I went to sleep, and yeah. now I'm here. Okay. That was my day. That was your day. This is my day. Your day. Well, your night is gonna be filled with mail calls. So we're gonna be doing yes. this for the next few hours. I'm excited. The guru's coming. Jeff's coming. He is on his way. Oh. He's gonna be here after the show. After the show. Yeah, yeah, he's busy. You know what Jeff just did? What did he do? He went to freaking Atlanta. He's been all over the place, right? He, he's been gone more than he's been here. He's been um, traveling. Yeah, because this is how the guru operates. He's like, uh, I smell comic books in Atlanta, so I gotta go to Atlanta. He's like the James Bond of the comic book game. Pretty much, Who yeah. Who even is Man Jeff? of mystery. Is Jeff his name? I have no idea. I looked at his, uh, I was, I tried to peek at his ID. I didn't want to be weird about it, but he was, he was getting stuff and I peeked at his ID and I t swear I saw the name Guru on there. Guru. He may have actually changed his name. That's his actual name. It may be, I don't know. But he Makes had to go sense. to Atlanta to pick up some Golden Age comics. If you haven't seen his, if you, okay, first off, shout out to the Guru. He may be even in the chat right now. He actually probably is. He's probably on his way here. If, if he's not, drive safe, Guru. Drive You're probably safe. on your way in your car. But the cool thing, um, that I have to give a shout out to the guru about is that he has been making a ton of content. He's been making a ton of content on Instagram and he posted recently his Atlanta find. And Ryan- Check the chat, Jeff is on the way. It's been, um, oh, he's, he, he's on his way. He's like, I'm on my way. But, <laughs> oh my gosh, ah, oh. That's what I saw. Yes! Don't throw my phone, please. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna throw your phone, but it's a I'm great, so excited! It's a great day! I don't even care if we're live. Yeah, I'm glad it's live. It's a great day. I'm so happy you're here, Ryan. Oh, shall we just watch it on your phone? Is that, is that Let's nice? just do it. I don't even care. It's live. Let's just do it. Pull up on your phone. Oh, I'm so stoked. Tom is excited. Oh! Tom is very, very yeah, excited. I'm excited. Jeff, thank you. <laughs> Let's watch this together. Come here, Ryan. Hey, turn your volume up. Turn my volume up. Well, I didn't want to. I don't want to have us on our Turn the volume up, Ryan. You're stream. watching this. This is very important, Sorry. guys. Variant Comics. Let's just take a look at what, what's going on over here. What's up, Variant Nation? Over the past
past couple of weeks, we have been giving the spotlight to several of the key characters that are set to appear in the Captain Marvel movie. Well, the MCU's new Captain makes her debut this weekend, so today we're giving her the floor with a look at some of the alternate versions of Captain Marvel to appear in comics over the years. But with the introduction of Captain Marvel marking the beginning of a new era for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we asked our friend Comic Tom in the oh! mail call if they would partner with us on a giveaway. And they did not disappoint. To celebrate this momentous occasion, three of you lovely people are going to get an original first print of Miss Marvel issue 1 from 1977, which is the very first appearance of Miss Marvel. I mean, come on. To answer for a chance to win one of these beauties, just head over to variantcomics.com forward slash giveaways and fill out the entry form. Then follow us on either Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Links for everything is going to be in the description below, and you have through Sunday, March 10th, to enter so jump on it right away now if you're wondering how on earth we're able to do such an amazingly awesome giveaway you have to check out the mystery mail call comic book monthly subscription box we honestly don't know how they do what they do but every month these guys put together epic boxes with titles and issues valued much higher rough. than what you pay not to mention every box comes with a chance at that month's rare and high value comics like Miss Marvel issue 1, the first appearance of Wolverine, and the first appearance of Harley Quinn, just to name a few. We'll throw their link in the description, so definitely be sure to sign up for the giveaway, then check them out. With that covered, let's talk to cool. Alright, so that is really cool. Variant Comics, it just dropped. So, so you steal my shop, and then you blow up the internet. Hey everyone. Dude! Good to see you. We were just on Variant Comics. That's like, right. Just now. All of my helpers downstairs are Eris, rocking. you were awesome. <laughs> yeah. Everyone thanks, downstairs Eris. freaking out. Uh, <laughs> thanks for giving uh, some, some comic book <gasps> geeks out here in the Pacific Northwest a little bit of screen time awesome. on your awesome, awesome show. Very, very cool. It is awesome. I got, um, we're talking about Jeff. We're live, by the way. No, I, um, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like I said, they're all, no one's working downstairs. They're all watching oh, did you. Just see they're that? not working, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Russ, um, holy smokes. Um, yes, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so this is cool. Thank you, everyone who's joining us. That happened just, you know, we've been waiting for that. Uh, all day, or, right? All day. We weren't yeah. sure, like, what was going to happen, what was it going to look like, and um, I'm glad you guys were able to join me um, in that moment. I wasn't about to wait till the end of the live show to show, to, to experience right, no, that. so it's good timing, really so, good timing. Yeah, all right, so yeah. thank you, Eris. Thank you, Jeff, um, for, for letting us know in the chat. Eris oh just dropped the video. Awesome. Check it out. He's, he's in the car freaking out. Oh, good. He's like, ah, this right. was Russ. Jeff's on um, his way here. He'll be here in 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah, um, I want to go through right now your shop. So, go. Russ, what happened? Uh, oh, my God. No, so, no. we have been in the same awful location for six and a half years. And I always joke about this. It's the type of thing where where we were on the back side of the building behind the 7-Eleven, it was kind of like, let's go to the place, the building, where you think you're going to get stabbed. And uh, it's really scary. Um, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan is just stabbing people. Tom Phil, I'm gonna grab a chair. I'll be yeah. right back. Oh, yeah. I could have I offered him my chair, but. <laughs> but he's like, my chair is super warm. Yes. <laughs> this is my office. I know. I don't um, Russ that. hasn't been live on Wednesdays yet, so he's super excited. <laughs> you got all go. these really nice I know. wheels on them because you got should. hardwood floor. Right. So um, after six and a half years in this. Location, and again, we started in this location in 2012. Um, it was $1,000 a month for a storefront, and I figured if I could make it work there, it'd be anywhere. Um, and the location was tough to find, but the online presence was good. We had a great community here. We had a lot of good magic players. We had a good comic book shop people. So it worked really, really well. But after six and a half years in the same location, um, it just made more sense to come here. You know, and we had been looking for a larger location. We had been looking for more street visibility and more parking. Those are the big things that we had been looking for. And this location, we moved from the other location, was about 1,200 usable square feet. This is 3,000 total square feet with about 2,500 usable. So you, had, you must be spending thousands more dollars a month, right? It is more. But it's totally <laughs> worth it because this gives us more room. When we moved the new location Killing here, uh, my helper John and the rest of us, we ended up moving 250 plus long boxes from the other location and storage and two other locations. So it was absolutely crazy, but we had so much inventory. Um, we're going to be putting together Mr. Mail Call super soon, and it hardly made a dent on the inventory that I had. Dude, so it's absolutely awesome. amazing. So this is like part of the part of the whole uh, vision of us getting to this point like a year ago. We were like, mm -hmm. we gotta get you a shop because 
you've had comic books in long boxes that have been like in storage. Mm. They've just been, th- and, and even I'm finding things day, I forgot about. Dude, I've, today I've, I'm finding things I forgot about. Yeah, both of us. We're like, and like just throughout this process, we're finding books that we forgot about. Um, and your shop's awesome. So right. I, I want, what I want to do is I want to show the community your shop because you have a Patreon. Your patrons um, are signing up in sure. waves and it's awesome. And it's this is their LCS. So we're mm-hmm. going to show your patrons as well as the community their new comic shop. Definitely. And if any of my people downstairs are uh, wanting to go take a smoke break, now is a great time to take a smoke break. Yeah, we're going to clear out the shop because we're going to show, <laughs> show on camera. And, not, and you know what? Okay. We'll make sure. So. I'll, meet, I'll see you downstairs. All right, cool. So bear with us. Um, we're gonna do this a little differently here, man. I I like that can we're we, live and doing. Can we go yeah. that way? Oh, I mean, we can. So they can see. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's uh let's do this they right. See us, they see us every day. They do. Oh, but they can't see that. that That's not good. good. That that don't look good. Okay, how can hmm. I fix that? I can fix that. Here, you hold this for a second. Gotcha. Bear with us, comic fam, and thank you to all the hundred and. 125 125 people. Oh my goodness. Let's see. How do I do this? Hmm. This is what happens when you don't We are do live now. Oh, it's we can't we can't do that. <laughs> All right. This is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it by hand. I apologize. Can you turn this off? All right, so yeah, we're gonna do it like this. Yeah, orientation's locked, so this is how we have to do it. Oh, I hate it. I'm not gonna do this. I hate, it. I hate it. I don't like it like that because what ends up happening is it don't look good because of this. So Bear with me, comic fam. I apologize. It's going to be a, a little bit of a ride here for a second. Boom. Boom. Oh. Which How's is that? just, it's looking good. I'm so, it's like an earthquake, but it's not. It's okay. Well, see, I thought I was going to do it manually, but if you do it manually, it's going to be shaky cam the whole time. And I'm a big fan of Blair Witch Project, but this is not that kind of video. So um, let's just take a look here. Where are we? Let's say, I want to show them the office real quick. So this right here is Russ's new office. All right, here we go. Let's get the pan over. So you're gonna be getting a lot more um, content done in here because when we do mail calls, when we do stuff for the show and Russ can't be here at the, at the studio, he'll be streaming from here. So you're gonna be getting some shots from the store, which is pretty cool. What do you got going on in here, Russ? Are you gonna be doing anything cool? So mainly the idea behind this is that uh, I'm gonna be having a dedicated room where I can do eBay as well as video stuff. And John's gonna be able to do eBay listing, and it's also kind of nice. Here. I have a friend, Nicholas Hill, who did a. If you're subscribed to the Mystery Mail Call, he did those super cool Venom and Spider-Man posters, but he also did the Thanos print a couple months ago, and that was actually super, super cool. So finally, having a place to put all of my stuff. Ooh, what do we got so, over here? So as far as this, this is all listed on eBay. This is all going to be listed on eBay. This is all eBay. Cool. E- what eBay? What's what's your what's Ambrosia your eBay? Ambrosia Sports is the name, although I should probably really actually change it to Milgi Comics or it's Comic been the Sensei. Same name forever, right? Comic Sensei, that might work. So this is oh by the way, this is the upstairs. This isn't even the comic right area. This, this is, is just upstairs. this is just like the the area that will be to do a lot of I fun don't stuff. I probably do tours in a bathroom, but this is a really hip bathroom. This is our bathroom. This is the executive washroom, and it has a shower. And the floor is gorgeous. See, this is this is basically what happens when you get a collection and it's really dirty. <laughs> we're we're getting our hands dirty, so we have to have a shower to get really cleaned up because we do it for the comic fam. It's <laughs> why it was like warm in here. Uh, yeah, the heater's on. Oh, right? okay. So, well, that's that's why. <laughs> cool. So we have a kitchen, so we'll be able to do some cooking here for late nights. Uh, I like that you got a kitchen in the in the shop, dude. Right? So we'll That's gonna be some, nice. Tivo says this is like MTV Cribs for geeks. I it, know. You know what MTV Cribs? This is Cribs. where the magic happens, yo. <laughs> so anyway, now this is actually where the D and D happens. <laughs> this is this is where the magic happens. There's no bed though. It's just D and D. Where's the dice? <laughs> so uh, downstairs, the conference table. We're actually carrying a 1,000 pound Formica top conference table up here. I love that you just got like random original art just we like sitting do, on the floor. You know, stuff just hanging out everywhere. Yes, there's more things going on the wall. We moved into this shop four days ago. That's so right. So we are placing everything. So that's the D&D room. All right. This is where the magic cards go. <laughs> this is when you just get magic. Is this going to be a... Uh, your your uh, yeah, so friend's room. The listers will be doing all oh, the wow. magic cards from that room. Oh, you're gonna be filling this. this so we moved place over up. half a million cards already, and it, we're gonna make 
even more. Uh, there's going to be a lounge area here where we have kind of a sofa. Well, aren't you, where are you doing these video game nights? Are you, are you doing those still? Downstairs in the big one. And we also, since we have this room and that room, we'll be having extra video games in those rooms. So this is eventually going to be a multi-purpose room like we have a D&D &D thing. The plan is to have an eight-foot table with a touch screen. But right now it's Overflow Comics. And as you can see, there's well over 100 long boxes <laughs> in this room. Look at all that. I love it. It's just crazy. Um, Wait, real quick, where can they go to sign up for the mystery mail call? DC, <laughs> you need to go to geekstreet101.com to sign up for the mystery mail call if you're looking for some older comic goodness. And if you need an LCS and you want to get some new comic goodness, check out my Patreon. Link is on my bio in my Instagram. Description too. Yes. Link, subscribe down, and all of the information below in the video, it's there too. Tom's got all the links. All right, cool. Where are we going now, Russ? All right, let's go downstairs. We're actually going to see the shop. All right. Let's see here. Oh, that's right. It's downstairs. Right. Let's do it. I know the gimbal's following me. It's good. So this is a loading area that we're still working on getting things Oh, when we, you mean when we get thousands of boxes for the mail call? It we don't have to have it shipped to my up. freaking house anymore? Right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we're kind of doing this backwards of the way that I normally do. Oh, so, so what is what is this? Oh, there we go. Wrong way. All right, Tom's head. There we go. All right. So Where are we going now? What is this down here? here? This is going to be the magic area, but as you can see, we are currently putting together some uh, some mail calls. Yeah. Okay, so this right here, these are mail call goodness. There's yes. there's comics everywhere. This is long boxes of everything for the mystery mail call to put them all together. With see all those boxes over there? Those are your mystery mail call boxes. Yep. So. And we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be assembling those soon. We have helpers Ryan and John working real tough now. There's two Ryan's, Ryan's in here. All right, and then what do we got? Okay. What do we got over here? So uh, this is my favorite room so far. This is the vintage back issue room right here. You have your own vintage back issue room. Props to you for making that a priority. We're gonna be able to close both the doors and close it off like when I'm not here in the like, magic tournament. But we already have plans for building a new rack system here, so we'll be able to put 36 long boxes in drawers. So we'll be able to have three times as many long boxes in this room. Again, we've been here four days, so we're kind of working on slowly building our way through this. But yes, we got $2 stuff, 50 cent stuff, we got vintage back issues, just kind of going through all of it now. Small trade paperback section over here. I know there's so many boxes, it's crazy. 50 cent bins, $2 bins, I love it. Right. All right, what do we got over here? This will probably end up being bigger, but these are the trade paperbacks where we just... Yeah, we've downsized our graphic novels because the mystery mail call has uh, definitely right. been popular. Are we keep, you know, Saga's novels. important to have, Walking Dead's important to have, I mean, Watchmen again. Some of these main ones that you just consistently sell all the time. Okay. It's good to have second bathroom downstairs because, you know, geeks need two bathrooms. This now, this may be my actual my favorite favorite room in the whole place because right. this is actually the front of the store like if you so, come in this is yeah, this is the you shop come in the store, this is the front doorstep and it is snowing by the way in, in seattle on the 6th of march 2019 it is in fact snowing outside so you can see we've got the big geek g uh tom's lovely face. here oh here here i'll bring him out there i'll bring him out there it's worth seeing shout out to our homie Oh yeah, no, this is uh, After Hours Graphics. Jason's the one who did all the vinyl for this one. Look at that, that's my head. Look at that. I know. Comic Time 101, Comic Time. Look at that, we buy comics. Who are we buying comics for? Uh, Mr. Mail Call. All right. All right, so uh, supplies. John, my helper, built this rack and we are super Oh, he it. built that? Yes, John built this in the wall. So this was a naked wall, and he actually spent all of a uh, Thursday night putting it together. And this is all the pieces. He bought all the wood. He hammered it all together, glued it all together. I mean, this is something that he built into the wall. And the plan is, once we get a little bit more arranged here furniture-wise, we're going to do another one. So, and then we got the front. I love that you got right. the wall with the lights, man. It's good. So yes, the wall, perfect for showcasing all of those high dollar books. Perfect for showcasing any of the new things that we're finding all throughout here. I want, dude, I am swear. This is so underpriced. $300 for that Superboy First Bazaar. I, <laughs> dude, I'm going to freaking snag that. I got to get that I book before one of your so, peeps get it. These are subscription boxes here. And alphabetize everyone local. Oh, is this this is the subscription boxes? So if you're a Patreon a, 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 a Patreon member, I don't want to show anybody's names. Well, but every uh, single one of them has a PAT at the end of their names. Oh. So you know that this whole subscription box is 
Patreon. Oh, so you got this is where it is. So like, if right, you go so to your, Russ's serious, Patreon yeah. yep. and you get a box, um, and he's getting and he's your comic guy, mm -hmm. your comics will literally be behind the counter. Here, right? <laughs> I love it. I love it behind the shelf. How much is the saga? How much is the saga? Four hundred. Chat. Four hundred. Four hundred for the graded saga. How much for a Captain America eight? <laughs> Do I have a Captain America 8? I don't know. I have to read the chat. Oh, I don't think I have a Captain America 8. I'm like, wait, you have a Cap 8? <laughs> oh, is that the new one? That's probably cover price. I don't think that's anything crazy. Cover price? Yeah, the that Cap one, eight. that's just, I mean, that's just a wall book. Yeah, watch everyone be like, you don't know, Russ? That is the next big book. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, man. Just like that Flippy the Pig poop variant, that secret poop variant that came Save out this me. week. Oh my god, this poop variant is going to blow up the internet, and it's probably going to be on the hot ten list. I didn't order any copies of the main cover. What are you talking about? There's a Deadpool. Marvel pulled a secret variant this week. Do you remember when they did the secret variant with a tongue? Yeah, they yeah. The secret variant with the, uh, uh, what, Hawkeye was wearing the Ronin costume? Yeah, they now have a Ziggy Piggy, or Piggy, the, I don't even know, Ziggy the Flippy Pig. Is it from uh, from Bill and Ted? Like, Ziggy no, Piggy, it's like, not. Piggy it's it's not there. from 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 the ice cream, yeah. you know, Sunday Napoleon. contest. No, this is totally one of those deals where for Marvel's 80th anniversary, they're releasing a bunch of one-shot books. And they had the Warhawks, and they had like a gunslinger one-shot book. This is another one of those one-shot like a kid's book. But apparently they're reading a map, and it says Up Poops Creek. And there's a okay. variant where it actually has poop on it. And they're going on eBay for like 25 to 30 bucks right now. I mean, people are talking. I got hit up about this yesterday, and I'm like, I didn't buy any copies of the main cover. Zero. So apparently it's big. Apparently people are caring. So if you got one, you got one. I think we have a super chat. Can you tell me who that was from? I want to oh, yeah. make sure to give a shout out to the, our, our members. I've been who... calling them out in the chat, but check okay. out Perry Comics. Perry Comics. Threw us ten dollars and said, "Just wanted to drop by and say hello." Very right. cool. Hey everyone. Hey Perry Comics. Actually, let's uh, here, can you guys come over here. Let's actually. Oh, look at your card. I know. See. Look at even his card. That's pretty cool. Yeah. No, I straight up put Tom on the back of my card. So now we can share a business card. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that great? All right. Cool. Cool. So, um, hey guys, so I can come in, in frame here. Sure. Um, we're gonna end this live video. Um, Russ, congratulations. Thank you so much, Tom. Super excited. And thank um, you everyone for joining us today. There will be more live goodness eventually once we get the rest of the shop settled. <laughs> thank you so much to everybody. Um, we're quickly approaching 10K. Yep. Um, we couldn't do any of the stuff without you guys. No, not at all. Uh, without the community. This is overwhelming. It's amazing and beautiful. So again, thank you all for, for joining and participating. This is really, really super cool. Um, don't forget, Lords of the Lawn Box is going to be at 6. Um, we got some time we're going to be giving you to prepare for that. He's Very got a cool. really cool guest on. <laughs> and we're going to go get your mail calls assembled. Oh, those have um, been put together, yep. Shout out again to Eris. Really do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, get responsible, guys.